and the number of fentanyl cases and overdose deaths are increasing in Bannock County. In a follow-up to a story we told you about last night at 5, we take a closer look at the rise in cases in our community. I spoke with local law enforcement about what they're seeing and how they're trying to combat the issue. From February 8th to February 15th, ODMAP for Bannock County reported 15 overdoses and three overdose deaths in the area, plus more than 20 overdoses for the entire month of February. Law enforcement believe most of these overdoses and deaths are fentanyl related. Local agencies are able to track where all of the overdoses in the community are coming from through ODMAP. ODMAPS is a program that is sponsored by the DEA and we entered data on overdoses or if we use Narcan or Naloxone uh, and then if it was effective, how many doses that we used and then uh, if there were any deaths. So it tracks all of our overdoses and it provides me with real-time data that I can uh, look at and then we can make some adjustments on our directed enforcement or where the incidents are occurring. Southeastern Idaho Public Health also has access to OD maps and tracks their own data. When we identify a specific um, hot spot um, or an area where we're seeing that increase of um, overdoses, we're able to direct some of our outreach efforts to that specific area. So if we noticed a trend with like a certain part of town or maybe like certain organizations, for example, like if we see some overdoses at a university, we're able to then um, provide additional education and resources and our outreach efforts in those specific areas so that um, those people that are in that um, hot spot are um, able to be linked to care and that they know that there are resources available to prevent overdoses. Fentanyl can be 50 to 100 times more potent than other drugs like morphine. And with the significant increase in overdoses in our community, Chief Shai says the best thing we can do to prevent them is to educate the public. <laughs> It's a pill that you don't know where the origins of it are, do not take it. If you don't know where it came from, if it's not prescribed to you, do not take it. If it's a in question, do not take it. If it's an illegal drug, do not take it. The risk of illegal drugs right now being laced with fentanyl is a lot higher than it used to be, and that drastically increases the uh, effectiveness of that drug. So if it's methamphetamine or cocaine and it's less with, laced with fentanyl, it's going to impact your system a lot differently and the chances of it being fatal are higher. For more information on Southeastern Idaho Public Health Drug Overdose Prevention Program, you can visit siphidaho.org.